4.6 Savage here. So today we're going to talk about what is an SN95. An SN95 was any vehicle, well, any Mustang that was produced between 94 through 04. That's 1994 to 2004. That includes the new edge. That also includes the 5.0 version. Now, we'll give you a spec breakdown on everything that's with them and all this, but uh, we'll start out with the 94-95. Common differences 94-95s had. They had horizontal tail lights, even though they looked the same. They had horizontal tail lights. That's how you could tell a 94 and a 95. They also carried the 5.0 motor. Now, they were the last two years of the 5.0 motor before it, uh, the 302, before they discontinued it and started making uh, Mustangs with 4.6s. What's the difference between a 4.6 and a 5.0, you say? Honest opinion, not a damn thing. They made the same power between 94 and 95 and 96 and 97. The only difference, the only difference is in a 5.0 and a 4.6, fuel economy, power efficiency, um, overhead cam design on the 4.6. Uh, the 4.6's torque came in at a higher RPM than the, the 5.0. That's not too bad. It comes in at like 36 on a 5.0. I think it's like 42 on a 4.6. But the other things, we'll move on to 96. No. So you had 96 with the 4.6. Um, the 4.6 came out of uh, uh, the, Le the Crown Fix. They put it in the Mustang, they souped it up a little bit, made 215. And again, same horsepower, same torque the 5.0 made. Uh, they're quick revving motors. The, uh, the SN95 on the 96 years also got a wider track on the front. About a half inch on each side. That's due to front spindles. So if you grab a set of uh, 94, 95 front spindles, you can reduce your track. Um, but the, um, I may have that backwards. It may be a bigger track on the 94, 95. I have to look it back up. But um, on 96, 97, there was a couple of changes. They, uh, they swapped from having ABS optional to having ABS standard in 97. Then rolls around 98. All fuel systems before 98 were return style, at least on the 4.6s. Rolls around 98. 90, most 98 cars have returnless fuel systems. Their horsepower was boosted due to ECU tuning and the, the returnless fuel system. They made 225. Also, the uh, 98 came with, uh, uh, sometimes came with ABS, sometimes didn't. Another weird oddity. I know a couple people who run 98s that uh, don't have ABS in them and also have return style systems. But we'll go back. So, 99 started the new, new Edge Mustang. They changed the look completely, upgraded fascia, upgraded uh, fenders, uh, new tail lights, new rear end, everything. The power plant was still 4.6, but it became with PI heads, which in our previous videos I've done explanations on PI heads. What people don't realize is just because you have 
a new edge Mustang and I'm sorry for all you people that have new edge Mustangs it's still an SN95 it's just not a original SN95 it's an SN95 new edge that's what it is people classify them as new edge because they're still in the bracket it was a mid uh, mid generation uh, makeover for the Mustang now uh, with everything the way it is the uh, new edge also got wider track on the rear due to longer axles on the 8.8 .8. I can't remember the exact specs but there. now that's going to be all for this video um, I will have another video coming out um, I'm starting a new series it's called spec battle let me know in the comments of that video what you think if you like it I'll continue if you don't I'll leave it as is but I'm gonna start that series coming up soon I'll probably post the video a couple days from now um, but for right now this is uh this is the content I'm posting for this week. Um, like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button, and uh, make sure you get notified of my videos. If you don't know they're dropping, you won't know. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You can find me on Tumblr. Uh, just make sure you hit the notification buttons because if you're not seeing my videos you can't watch them now remember guys like and subscribe and be savage